All right, next, what do we want to do? We want to add a label here for player one, a label here for player two. And we do that by going to the toolbox, looking for a label element. Here's a label element. So drag and drop on the, on the form. And this is label one. On the properties, make sure you go back to the properties here. We don't want to change the name, but however, we want to change this auto size property and make it false because auto size means you cannot resize it if, however you want. And I actually want the ability to resize it. Okay, so that's good. I don't want to change the back color or the cursor or anything. I'm going to change the text and the font. So we have the font here. Actually, maybe just change the font color. Go to custom. I'm going to choose the purple for player one. And on the font, I'm sorry, I'm going to expand the font. Let's make the size 12 or maybe 14. 14 is nice. And if you want to make it bold, that's fine. I mean, I guess this is enough. And then go back to text here. And this, just call this player one. And now I can resize it a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to take this, move it here. Align it with the top of, yeah, this is good here, like this. Okay, now, so to avoid having to do the same steps over and over again, I'm going to Control C, copy, and then Control V to paste, and then put this one over here on this side. Okay, so they're both aligned. I think this needs to go down inside a little bit, maybe like this. And uh, now let's click on this label again and make sure we change two things. We change the color from purple to something, let's say like uh, dark sky blue. Here's dark sky blue. And change the text from player one and make it player two. Just player two. Okay, so now we got the two texts in there. Let's see how we can add the title in here. That's simple. We can just pick any of these two, Control C, Control V again, and put it here in the middle. I'm going to expand this so that it actually matches pretty much like the whole form width inside the form from the two sides. As you can see, the text is left justified. Instead, I want to make the text on this centered. To do that, we have to look for the property for text align right under the text. It's called right now it's top left. Let's just click on center and let's change the text to tick tack toe. And also go change the font on this guy. Let's change the font here. Make it maybe 64 in size. Oh, this is a huge, but let's expand it. Maybe 64 is too much. Let's try 48. 48 sounds better. And let's change the font, actually. The font itself, I have on my machine, I have this font uh, that I like called Car Show Card Gothic. That's the font I'm using. If you don't have it, you can pick whatever font you like. I just happen to like this one. And I'm going to change actually the four color into black or any color you want. And make sure that this is actually what's in here. Okay. I want to make sure it's kind of centered. Okay, this looks okay. So now we want to add our label below, which is the label we want to add to show whenever we click the uh, turn for players. Like we want to tell player one, it's your turn, or player two, it's your turn, etc. Doesn't look aligned like this. Maybe this is bothering me a little bit. I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. All right, so let's add a fourth label down, and that's the most important label because we're going to change its text in code. I'm going to copy paste again and put this in here and make it 
go all the way again from the two sides and this was like that actually i'm gonna change my mind this time i'm deleting this i'm gonna copy that title label and put it down below just for fun and make this guy the same font as the one top but everything is the same except that the size i think should be definitely smaller so we can display more text so let's go back here to the font expand it and let's make it 12 that's too small let's try 24 okay 24 sounds good and let's change the text on it to say like something like status goes here okay so this is the status it goes here and the last thing we want to change is the name of this control because we're going to use it in code it's right now label for that's not meaningful let's call it label status and for short people don't like to use the whole name label you can just say lbl for short and status that's easier to type in code okay so that is pretty much all we need in terms of GUI or oh, one more thing which is we said we we're gonna have a button here that says new game so go back to toolbox I think at the top here button is here drag it into the form and place it here and let's just make it so that it size is big enough to match this and that. just make it like this and then on the also on the button we want to change the properties the following properties the name because we're gonna use this in the code so let's say btn which stands for button and new game so that's the name and then we want to change we could change the font if we want maybe just change the font size make it 14 and make the text bold and go down to the text which is the text inside the name uh, the button we can say new game dot 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 and also actually if you put an person signed here that and person sign is going to be used as a like you see here now the letter n has a unders underscore underneath this means that you the user can hit on the keyboard alt n this is like a shortcut key instead of clicking the the button that's another way to click it from the keyboard so that's useful let's keep it that way okay so now we have all our elements ready let's just try to see this on the screen Control f5 to run it and see it okay so this is how it looks like as you can see the cursor is changing here but nothing is functional yet right because we haven't written any code yet but yeah i like the status more Cool.